Amazon Rainforest for Kids, Part 2. The Amazon Rainforest is in South America and is one of the most beautiful and fascinating places in the world, with millions of miles of trees, waterfalls, rivers, and lots of rare plants and animals, some of which haven't even been discovered yet. Around 6% of the Earth's surface is covered in tropical rainforests, and the Amazon rainforest is the world's largest. It covers around 3 million square miles, which is larger than the next two forests, Congo and the Indonesian forest combined. The Amazon rainforest is actually so big that if you were to lay it out over the United States, it would cover more than half of it. Wow! The Amazon rainforest has been around for at least 55 million years. Whoa! That's one old rainforest we're talking about. The Amazon rainforest got its name from a Spanish explorer called Francisco de Oriana, who saw women fighting against his men. He called them Amazons, after the deadly female warriors from Greek mythology. Around 10% of all the known species in the world live in the Amazon rainforest. That's crazy! And it's home to some of the most beautiful and rarest animals in the world like the blue morpho butterfly, sloths, and the golden lion tamarind. Not all of these animals are cute and cuddly though. There's also lots of deadly animals like anacondas, cougars, and jaguars. You don't want to be left alone with one of these, do you? And if you think you're safe in the river, think again, as the Amazon is also home to the pirarachu, which can grow up to nearly three meters long. But what makes this fish so deadly? It has teeth on the roof of its mouth and on its tongue. Creepy. After knowing this, you wouldn't want to go for a swim, would you? What if I told you that someone already swam the whole of the Amazon River? Martin Strell did. It took him 66 days and he had to swim for up to 10 hours a day. To give you an idea of how big the Amazon River is, the amount of water that flows from it into the Atlantic every single day is enough water for all the people of New York City for a whole nine years. The Amazon rainforest isn't just home to animals though, in fact, a whopping one million people call the Amazon home too. And what about plants? Did you know that there are loads of medicines that we use today that have come from plants in the rainforest and only 1% of these have been tested? That's amazing. With all those 40,000 different types of plants, Can you imagine how many more medicines and vaccines could have been found to help people? The rainforest doesn't just give us medicine though, but food too. In fact, there are over 3,000 different types of edible fruit in the rainforest, like avocados, coconuts, oranges, lemons, grapefruits, pineapples, and mangoes. Did somebody say smoothie? You wouldn't think it, but the Sahara Desert has a huge role in the Amazon rainforest as it blows across phosphorus in the wind, which helps fertilize the soil. In the rainforest, there's two seasons, the dry season and the wet season. But there's a reason why it's called the rainforest, as it rains up to 80 inches per year. Sadly, in the last 100 years, we have seen the rainforest being destroyed at around 1.5 hectares per second. Yes, you heard that right, per second. Scientists also think that if climate change was to increase the world's temperature by only 3 degrees, then 75% of the Amazon would be destroyed. Despite the fact that Norway is over 6,000 miles from Brazil, they have donated a billion US dollars to help save the Amazon rainforest between 2008 and 2015. That's a lot of money. The Amazon rainforest is a beautiful place and we all need to do our very best to protect it so that it stays for years to come. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Until next time, have a lovely day.